Hello, good morning. Welcome to my learning channel, Sir Fox Learning Channel. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell on. At ang mga videos na binabahagi ko po dito, pwede nyo rin pong i-share sa mga sudyante nyo na senior high school. At the same time, kahit po kung may mga kamag-anak kayo, kaibigan, na kumukuha po ng senior high school, ang itinuturo po natin ngayon ay core subject, earth and life science. So, kinukuha po ito lahat halos ng mga senior high school. Okay? So, thank you for visiting my channel and I hope na ito pong channel ay makatulong po sa bawat isa sa inyo. Okay, today I would like to discuss still about the origin and structure of the earth. Last time we have discussed how earth is unique, how, why earth is habitable. So we, we determine the different factors why earth is habitable. Nandiyan po yung uh, energy, the atmosphere, the, the temperature that the earth has in which the, on, the, the earth only has that temperature na meron po tayo, right temperature na pwedeng makatulong para ang isang living organism ay mabuhay. Dito lang po yan sa earth. There was a question, what if may mga planet pa daw na pwedeng mabuhay or pwedeng tirahan ng mga living organism. Eh actually, inaaral po yan ng, uh, ng science right now. But for now, we do believe, according to science and even to the scriptures, that only Earth, only planet Earth is a habitable planet. No doubt in that, as the scriptures, and also uh, na discover din ng science what we, what we can do is just to enjoy to take good care of this planet earth because all of these things which we are enjoying is our gift or our privilege that we could have today I would like to discuss earth system so, Earth system it refers to its interacting physical, chemical, and biological processes. The interaction within the Earth physically, chemically, bio biologically, yan po yung tinatawag po nating Earth system. So, we can notice na systematize po yan. Wala pong, in, wala pong ano yan, wala pong, hindi po nagkakagulo. So, though it interacts with each other, but the right thing there, yung smooth na flow of the interaction. So, yun, y that's, why, that's how unique is. Unique Earth is. Mayroon siyang system, may sistema, kaya nga, kaya nga maayos because of the system. And that system is a natural system. So, importante kasi yung system na yan. So, like sa bahay, may system din po tayo sa bahay, right? Andiyan yung rules and regulation ng ating mga magulang. Sa school, mayroon din po tayong system na kailangan sundin para maging maayos yung flow sa community, sa, halimbawa, sa subdivision, kung saan ka nakatira, may mga system din po yan. And sa barangay, hanggang sa municipality hanggang sa hanggang sa lawigan at sa buong bansa may sistema po yan uh, by the rules of the people behind the laws and dito sa pinag-aaralan po natin about earth system 
wala pong kumpaka natural system po yung umiiral interaction of physically of living things and non-living things and interaction of chemical reaction forming from one form to another and even interaction of biological system or biological processes like the cycle of different living organisms from one form to another uh, from one form and then kaka uh, absorb ng ibang form absorb ng ibang form so there is a cycle which is systematized <clears throat> don't you know that this system is composed of four subsystems so therefore this that's why this day I would like to explain that the earth consists of four subsystems across whose boundaries matter and energy flow so that's our learning target for this lesson earth's subsystem we will uh, at the end of this lesson you as learners are expected to explain the earth consists of four subsystems across whose boundaries matter and energy flow what is matter matter is anything that occupy in space and has mass so in, in other words lahat ng nakikita mo which occupy space and has mass it's a form of matter it's a matter and energy the ability to do work or capacity to do work for a matter to move from one place to another there's an energy that applies on it for me to talk to move there's an energy exertion ability to do work why because of the energy that I absorb to, uh, from the food that na kinain ko every day every single day okay initially the learners must recognize that the earth as a system composed of subsystem as well as you must be able to uh, describe each subsystem of earth and interrelate the four subsystems in any matter so that's our target as after this discussion you have to, to be uh, you must recognize that earth has four subsystem and the interrelation interrelation of the system and describe its major systems or functions of each subsystem we all know the earth sometimes called as water planet or the blue planet because of the seas cover the whole earth so seven, I think 70% if I am not mistaken 70% of the earth is water and 30% is land uh, more than two-thirds of its surface so you the, the seas which covers more than two-thirds of its surface earth is the only planet in the solar system with rain that falls from clouds so that's another function of the systems of the earth another systems that happens in in this earth rather um, runs over the land and collects in extensive oceans so from clouds forms to rain at mapupunta sa ocean and from ocean mag evaporate mapuform into clouds cycle water cycle bagay ng uh, discussion ninyo during your early years i think grade 7 grade 8 or grade 9 so here are the four subsystem of the earth so there are four subsystem uh, so what i've said system is the interaction of physically uh, chemically and biologically of earth materials and para maging maayos yung system of this 
material things of this earth, may tinatawag po tayong subsystem which consists of four. The first is the atmosphere. What is the atmosphere? The atmosphere is the gaseous, gaseous or gaseous layer above the Earth's surface, primarily composed of different gases such as nitrogen and oxygen. So it's the atmosphere above the Earth's surface. The second subsystem is the biosphere. The biosphere is the zone of the Earth where all forms of life exist. This serves as the ecosystem of all living and non-living organism. This is the surface, surface where we live and interact with other living organisms. We call that as the biosphere. Another subsystem is the geosphere in which it, it refers to the solid part of the earth that consists the entire planet from the ocean of the core to the outer crust. It includes the core, mantle, and crust of the earth. So one time I asked my learners, saan ba tayo nakatira sa earth? Sa labas or sa loob? Then they answer, sir, sa loob. Sa loob nga ba? What do you think? So comment your ideas on the comment box or in the comment section. Saan ba tayo nakatira? Sa labas ng earth or sa loob ng earth? But in the subsystem of earth, may tinatawag po tayong biosphere in which living organisms live. What do you think of that? Diyan ba tayo nakatira? At meron din pong subsystem na tinatawag na geosphere in which it includes the core mountain and crust of the earth so the core sino bang nakapanood ng movie na the core so ano bang nangyari sa kanila ano ba yung ginawa nila in that, in that movie na the core so saan ba tayo saan kayo tayo nakatira sa loob ng earth or sa labas ng earth so comment your answers now Another subsystem is the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere, from the word hydro, it refers to the water part of the earth that includes oceans and glaciers. Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, kung hindi pa ako nagkakamali, 70% of the surface of the earth is water. Kaya nga blue. Blue yung color ng planet earth because of the water. It pictures out the water surface and the green part on the color ng earth, it pictures out naman dun sa land surface. So the hydrosphere is the, is the subsystem of the earth which refers to the water parts of the earth or water areas such as oceans and glaciers. Okay? Earth is a complex system made up of many smaller systems through which matter and energy are continually cycled. Energy and matter flow through Earth's spheres, the geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. Energy flow through the atmosphere mostly by conviction. And the atmosphere provides the geosphere with heat and energy needed for rock to uh, break down and erosion. However, the biosphere receives gases, heat, and sunlight which uh, in form of energy from the atmosphere. It receives water from the hydrosphere and living medium from the geosphere. So th this subsystem actually interrelated with each other. Okay? Interrelated. Okay, nang sinabi ko nina, the atmosphere provides the geosphere with heat and energy. So sunlight from the atmosphere and uh, nag, 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 
nag-interact with the geosphere to provide heat and to form energy. The same time, yung atmosphere nag-provide din ng gas. And the biosphere receive it. And from the atmosphere, uh, receive those from the atmosphere. And then, the hydrosphere also produce produce um, gases uh, in a form of carbon dioxide and then the, the hydrosphere as well nag-evaporate yung water kung baka nagkakaroon ng flows nagkakaroon ng cycle rather because of these interactions with each other interrelated si hydrosphere kailangan ni atmosphere para makapag-produce ng gas si atmosphere kailangan ni ni biosphere para sa mga living organism and then syempre si geosphere in which the the core of the earth is also interacting with this uh, with the other subsystem of the earth so earth is a complex system made up of smaller systems through which matter and energy continuously flow okay so that's that's all for now about earth subsystem hydrosphere geosphere uh, atmosphere and the other one is the biosphere i hope na nakatulong po tayo sa ating mga learners ng grade 11 Kagaya ng sinabi ko po sa inyo, kung kayo po ay mayroong learner na grade 11 or anak, kapatid, friend, kamag-anak, sudyante, then pwede nyo pong i-share ang video na to in a way ay makatulong po sa inyo. So, ito po ay importante lalo na po sa ating mga distance learners or asynchronous learners. So, marami pong salamat. At kung bago ka po sa channel na ito, huwag niyo pong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell. Thank you and God bless.